Are you curious about this popular French cuisine upscale dining restaurant at the Riviera Resort? It's one of the highlights of a recent Disney trip we took with our kiddo. And today I'm going to show you some photos and the menu from Topolino's Terrace Dinner at the Riviera Resort in Disney World in Orlando. Hey there, you're listening to Jenna Loves Magic, where we chat things like tips for planning Disney World trips, including what to do and food to eat. If that sounds good to you, subscribe for more Disney vacation tips. Now let's get to it. Not far from Hollywood Studios theme park, you'll find the Riviera Resort. This is where you'll find the upscale dining experience that is this delicious Topolino's Terrace Dinner I'm going to walk you through. So when you get into the hotel, it's everything you would expect from a Disney World hotel. It has theming throughout, there are some hidden Mickeys, and in this resort in particular, I believe it's just for vacation guest members, so they do have some rooms that just have windows that you can look in. I'll take you through the Riviera Hotel property after the menu tour of Topolino's. So here we go, you can see the inside of the restaurant is beautiful, it's just a few floors up from the main lobby in the Riviera Hotel. You're greeted with these beautiful bottles of wine and some pantry items or you know there's like pasta essence in the ceiling with the lights. Outside there is a terrace that you can check out before or after your meal. You could also catch fireworks and dine here at night. So we sat inside for this particular meal. It was the first day that we arrived at Disney World on our trip in September. It was a little bit rainy outside and it was still pretty nice outside, but we did sit inside. Nobody was sitting outside. So the Topolinos Terrace dinner menu starts out with some of this reserve olive oil. Everyone makes a big deal of this olive oil that they serve here with the bread service. And it's for a good reason because along with your baguette, you get this delicious olive oil. Um, the type of food at Topolino's Terrace is French cuisine and Italian cuisine. So this here is a kid's meal rigatoni pasta. It's just with red sauce, really fine for kids who are picky eaters. And here we are starting the meal. So Topolino's is really a great place to get a nice steak dinner at Disney World. This is the filet mignon and it's served with potato pave, bordelaise sauce, carrots, broccolini, shallot, and vinaigrette. There you also saw the rigatoni fresh pasta and this is just a closer look at that steak dinner. So the potato here is something really special. They're kind of layered and stacked on each other and they're in this really like buttery mixture. Here's just a little clip of the rigatoni. So this potato, I could eat like 10 of these potatoes at a time. They're truly addictive potatoes. Take a closer look at this little dish. Oh, look at that. The steak was so tender. I got mine ordered medium. I have had a lot of really great steak dinners at Disney World. Make sure to check out my review of the Yachtsman. That's one of my favorite steak houses at Disney World. But for a really nice French prepared steak, Topolino's is a really good choice. I would definitely get this meal again. And luckily it wasn't too huge of a steak or too huge of a portion. I did have a little room left for dessert. So here's just a look at those potatoes I was raving about. There can be such good steak on the dish, but if there's not the right amount of potatoes, Obviously I'm a fan. If there's not the right amount of potatoes and there's not the right amount of sauce, you're not gonna have a good dinner. So again, I really recommend the filet mignon dish. So we did try some other things here. Um, the kids meals do come with dessert. The dessert here is a vanilla gelato. It's a really cute Mickey shaped dessert with those chocolate ears and nose and tail. It's so cute. This is the lava cake. You really should never pass up a lava cake. They're like the dessert from the 90s that just keeps giving back to us. It's so delicious. Love that it was served with the berries and the chantilly cream on the side. It was a really, really delicious meal. And I think there are some more of those little Mickey ears in there as well. We all shared that. Look at that caramel oozing out of the center. This dessert is really something you don't want to miss. 
So after having our first night meal at this Disney World Resort, we traveled from the Riviera over to Art of Animation where we checked out some arcades right after getting some nice photos here on the terrace. Look how beautiful the Riviera Resort is. I would love to come back and dine at Topolino's Terrace for brunch or for breakfast. They have a character breakfast with Daisy and other Disney characters, little meet and greets. I know they have waffles and other Mickey shaped foods for breakfast. So I do hope to create a breakfast video for you soon. Well, let me just share a couple more things that I have going on for you here at Jenna Loves Magic after just a few extra shots of our delicious food. Make sure to get my full review of Topolino's Terrace at jennalovesmagic.com. Check out more videos and posts from Jenna Loves Magic if you are planning your Walt Disney World trip and want some tips and tricks. And if you're a foodie, make sure to visit me on my food channel, Sip Bite Go, because there you can get my recipe for smoked turkey legs that are basically a Disney copycat recipe. I'll teach you how to smoke them, how to bake them in the oven, or how to air fry turkey legs just like you'd get at Disney. That's all for you foodies there. Well, until next time, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you here next time, friend. Cheers!